Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the Click Compare and Math Instructions in the PLC. And we'll do this by looking at an example. And in our example we will look at a factory with five different shifts. We have a weekend shift, morning and afternoon shift. We have also a weekday, uh, midnight, day and afternoon shift. And what we want to do is take the real time clock, compare that um, to the values and set the corresponding output to the shift that we're actually running. So as you can see we have our uh, click uh, PLC software up and it is actually running and we're connected to it because we're in run mode here and what you'll see is that we have the real time clock uh, the day of the week um, which is SD23 and it's, it's going to have the values 1 to 7 indicating the day of the week. And there's our output. So what we do is we first of all determine if it's a weekend bid or not. So in this case here, we compare the SD23, the day of the week, to either 7 or the value 1. And 7 being the um, uh, bid for Saturday and 1 being for Sunday. So as you can see, Currently, right now, it's equal to Saturday, and so we have our weekend bit on. So, once we have our weekend bit on, then we can take a look at our SD24, which is the hour of the day, which is the 24-hour clock. And what we're doing is we're saying if it's greater than um, zero, which it is, and it's less than um, 11, so that means that um, it's got from 11. Uh, hours and 59 uh, minutes and 59 seconds then we know that we're in the the a.m. group and then if it's not that's in the uh, p.m. group so if we look at the actual instruction itself I'll double click here where it says equal and it actually comes up with this compare and the compare looks at the different words SD 23 in this case and it's equal to 1 you can also see the other different symbols we can use equal not equal greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. Also along the bottom here, you will also notice the same bits, only the first four though. Equal to, not equal to, greater than or less than. Once you called up the symbol, then you can change it to the other two. So we'll say okay. And now, you'll see right now, um, we'll just monitor this. And What we want to do is I did, I did change that so we have to actually download it again. We'll proceed. And it's writing the project. So now we're back online and we're actually seeing what's happening. Now if we go to the PLC, we go into the calendar and time clock, you'll actually notice that uh, here's where we can actually change the value. So if we want to say, okay, let's just change that to um, 11. Uh, 59 and we'll go 59 and we're going to write that to the PLC then after a second we should actually see that output change on our PLC so we'll write that now and you heard that click and you also change the output here so the other shifts or the other shifts that we have are um, there's my two weekend shifts and then A, B, and C. So if it's not the weekend bit, then we have 12 to, uh, 12 to, to 8, 8 to 4, and then 4 to 12 again. So there are my four bits, and that's the compare statement. Next, what we'll do is we'll do another example, but this is we'll use some math instructions. And what we'll do is we will look, first of all, at um, counting the number of units that have made, say, in the last shift or day or whatever. But what we'll do is we'll use an interrupt program and using the interrupt program what we'll do is in my navigation menu or window I can right click and say add but in this case here I have it right here and if I double click my uh, unit count interrupt this is my interrupt routine so you'll notice I have to have my uh, x1 on and then what it will do it will add one to, to the memory location ds1 and it will store it at DS1. So all this is doing is actually giving me a, uh, a count value. It keeps incrementing. 
Now, if I go to the um, right click and then go to the interrupt setup, I come up with a menu here that I can say turn on interrupt one. I'm going to enter uh, the interval time will be uh, 200 milliseconds, which would be two seconds. And what it's going to do is call up this unit counter interrupt, which is what we called it here. So I'll just say OK. And you'll notice that here at the end of every interrupt, there's a return, which then returns to the point in the program where you left off. So what we'll do is then when we go back to the main program and we go down to the bottom of the list, you'll see that we have unconditional rung, which then multiplies this by 3.14 that gives us the result and it changes into a floating point value, DF10. So if I double click on that uh, math instruction, you'll actually see there's my uh, DS1, I multiply by 3.4. The math instruction is pretty straightforward. You, you have your result in Word, you say what type, you have a decimal or hex, you have some options like one shots, etc. And then you have all your different uh, uh, formulas that you can enter in this area here. And you can use addresses or nicknames. So we'll say OK. And now what we'll do is run this program. In order to run it, we need to call up our data view. So I'll bring it up here and we will edit and we will call up address uh, X1. And we will make sure that the override is on and we'll turn that on. And then we will write the value. We'll get a warning, we'll say OK. And now we're going to write the value. Right. And we'll make sure that our status is on. Uh, yes, we want to download. So every time you make a change or modify the program, it'll ask you, do you want to download? You respond yes, even though there's a change or not change made. So you can see it's writing now. All right, so now what we're doing is because we have forced that bit on, um, you'll actually see that we are now counting up. And it's 62.8, so it's 3.14 each time that we get a value count. If we, we can go back and we can actually monitor um, our interrupt routine. In our interrupt routine, we have the values 28, 29, 30, which is counting every two seconds, it's counting one. Okay. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And before you go, if you could do us a favor and give us a thumbs up on this video, so that'll help other people find this information so they can also learn. Also, uh, for a complete listing of this program for download, just visit our website at www.accautomation.ca. Thanks for watching.